Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching Forotech. So, one week back, OnePlus has made available new stable Oxonus 13 base F14 OTA for the OnePlus 9RT. I am using the Oxonus F13 stable update based on the Android 13. And when I checked the software update, we got this big software update of 704 MB in the size. It has some change log related to some stability and bug fixes. If you are on the F13, then you will get this OTA. Just tap download button and it will get automatically flash. If you didn't got this update, then you can use the Oxonus updater application from the Play Store. Here it will show you the same OTA update with the change log information. But the manual flashing is somewhat tricky in this method. Download the update within the application. Once download gets completed, you will find it under the root of the storage. Now install the OnePlus Updater APK. Open this application. Tap right top gear icon. You will find the same downloaded file in the application. Tap on it. That's it. Flashing will start. It will take 5 to 10 minutes. Once done, tap reboot to the system. So today in this video, we will fully review the change log. Then we will do the performance and stability test in comparison with the old Oxonus F13 OTA. Finally, I have shown some issues in the update with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. On the new adventure. One system update get finished. Let's jump to the bot phone to check what's new gets here. In the bot phone, if you tap on the OT section, now it's showing we are on the new Oxonus F14 based on the stable Android 13 version. It has changed log details of the update similar that we seen before the update. If we check the Android version section, it's the stable Android 13 with the same material clocker easter egg. As per the change log, security patch is updated to the February 2023, while old F13 was on the December security patches. In the version section, it's showing we are now upgraded to the build version number F14. Except that kernel version is same like old build, it is 5.4.147. So some major things like the security patch is only upgraded in this OTA. Now let's review the change log. First is the OnePlus claimed that they improved the network stability. In another word, 5G, 4G networks are more stable in this new OTA. Signal strength has been improved. So calling on the new stable update is very clear whether it's 4G or 5G calling. Next, as per the change log, they mentioned they improved the camera stability. Here I can't able to tell you what stability OnePlus claimed to improve in the camera section, but it may be related to the video stabilization and autofocus mode for the camera. Camera is now quickly focusing on the objects while taking pictures or during video recording. Video stabilization is also very good. It's recording the good quality stable videos. You can tell me in the comment section except these things any noticeable change do you found for the camera section. Next they added some fixes like the first one if you enable the eye comfort mode it's night mode option in the simple word available under the system setting. Previously it was buggy causing some changes in the display color temperature automatically while using the eye comfort mode. I enabled this feature and used the device more than an hour and I didn't face any changes in the display color temperature. So this bug has been fixed now. They fixed the display issue of time for at a glance time and the date on the home screen in some scenarios. Actually I didn't face any issues regarding this previously. So these are the basic change log I covered. It's not a special but some under root system stability along with these fixes has been done in this new OTA. So scrolling, switching between applications seems more seamless as compared to the previous builds. I enabled show FS under developer option, also kept the FS setting at the high mode instead of standard mode. There is no dedicated force 120 hz setting available under the developer setting or under the normal setting of the device. When you user the device, screen FS remains at the high, always means 120 hz unless and until for the long duration we didn't touch the screen it goes back to the 60 hertz but some applications like the camera and the youtube video play always runs on the 60 hertz so overall performance is top notch as compared to the previous builds scrolling swiping gestures switching between applications animations 
Everything is seems very fluid and stable without any glitches. When I ran the Geekbench with the performance mode, I got the score of 992 for the single core and 3330 for the multi core respectively. If you check the last F13 update performance, there we got 721 and 3231, which is way lower than the current build results. Then I enabled the performance mode under the battery setting and ran the Geekbench test once again. Now I got the major improvement with the score of 1193 and 3442 for the single and multi core respectively. Temperature during this test risen between 43 to 47 degrees Celsius. With the performance mode enabled on the last F13 build, we got the results of 1105 and 3158. Multi core performance is lower than the results without the performance mode, which is main issue I found every time, but now it's solved in this new update. New update gained the number one rank for the Geekbench readers with the performance and without performance mode. Next, I did the OpenGL graphics API test and I got the score of 3792. While for the old build, we didn't done the OpenGL graphics API test. But for the Hulkan graphics API, I got the score of 5359. While for the old F13 results are the 5364, which is nearly same as the current build. So the graphics performance improvement is negligible, but the CPU performance for the single and multi-core were outstanding as compared to the old update. Now it's time to check the CPU stability at the higher temperature using the CPU throttle testing. Before running the test, CPU temperature were normal ranging between 39 to 42 degrees Celsius. I ran the test on the 20 test for the 5 minutes. While running the test, I didn't see any single red or the yellow line performance drop in the graph. Stopping the test after 5 minutes, I got the score of 91% which is amazing results for the CPU throttling. This result is exactly same as the old F13 build results. Temperature after the test risen between 46 to 50 degrees Celsius. Overall CPU throttling test performance is very good and the new OTA is capable of performing well in the CPU intensive task. Now it's time to tell you some issues in this new OTA. Actually, these issues will only face by the unlocked users. If your device bootloader is unlocked and you ran the SNAP safety net check, then CTS profile is getting failed because of unlocked boot. This was not happening in the older builds for me. I was getting the safety net test successful for the old build, even my bootloader is unlocked. Another issue is the device play protect certification in the Play Store is showing devices not play protect certified. Because of this, some applications like the Netflix are not compatible with this update, but Amazon Prime is available to download and it's working. These are some issues for the only unlocked bootloader phones, except this everything seems good. So I definitely recommend you to download and install this new F14 update if you are a fan of the feature rich OxonOS with the stability. So we did the thorough testing of this new OTA, only section left is the battery life and the gaming performance. So I will create the second part of this video with the full battery with the gaming so stay tuned. Until then if you think this video helped you then please do like share and subscribe. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye.